first of all, if you look at the the burden or the opportunity that tech has been, it's accounted for some 80 percent of the gains this year so far. So do you think there's a ceiling on that? Hi, good morning. Great to be back. Um, to be to be blunt about it, yes, I do. I do think there is a there is a limit to this to this rally that we're that we're seeing. Um, you know, as much as inflation, um, you know, the big I word, it is moving in the right direction. It's still very much a problem, and I do think that some corners of the market um, potentially are, are remaining a little bit too optimistic about where we're at in terms of the hiking cycle. And we know that if that continues or is more severe than is perhaps being priced in, that is going to have an effect. Um, that said, I'm not just going to be pure doom and gloom here. The major companies that are driving this rally um, do have some very, very strong fundamentals. So it's not just, we're not you know in the realms of complete speculation here. Uh, they do have very strong um, fundamentals, as, as I said, but there is certainly a limit to this, this rally, in, in my opinion. We heard Steve Kovac outline some of the headwinds for each of these companies, but let's begin with Apple as it kicks off its $3 trillion market cap morning. Uh, where are the headwinds for Apple that you see? Where's the opportunity? Yeah, sure. Just the phenomenal numbers that we're talking about here, isn't it, really? Um, so Apple really, and I know that, you know, most most analysts kind of beat this drum where, where Apple is, is concerned, and I'm, I know different in that it simply has one of the most potent brands on the planet. We've seen, although, you know, things haven't been um, as bright as, as they have been, they have been seeing a bit of a slowdown in, in demand. Really, realistically, the numbers that we have seen have been incredibly resilient when you consider the price point um, of their products and the fact that we're in the middle of this, this kind of cost of living squeeze with inflation running so high. So that, that potency of the brand I don't think is going anywhere. But in terms of challenges in, in the near term, um, for one, the fact that the valuation has reached this $3 trillion level means there's certainly a, a lot to live up to. So we're increasing the risk of ups and downs there. And then also we're seeing some um, production issues potentially with the new headset you know that's 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 um, come out today um, the very complex nature of that product means that there's potentially going to be a little bit of a of a pullback there on what they can deliver but the extent of that is is, is unknown so really I'd say the opportunity remains it's it's phenomenal business model and brand um, but actually the expectations the bar now is potentially almost a little bit too high so I do think we could be looking at a little bit of volatility in the short to medium term. And very briefly on Microsoft and Alphabet, yes or no, higher or lower? Um, I think that we're looking at a great deal of strength, particularly where Microsoft is concerned. I think it's phenomenally well well placed. And that rally that we've seen, I do think there's a little bit more momentum left where Microsoft is, is concerned.